Okay guys, it's uh, Richard from Stream TV. It's been a while since I've done an install video, um, but I had a couple of people asking, so um, here goes. This is on the Amazon Firebox. If you want, you can just double click the home button, and that'll bring up your app launcher with all your uh, most recent apps on. So we'll just highlight Cody, hit enter, Okay, so I'm um, recording the screen using TeamViewer software, so it, there may be a slight delay um, in um, the picture loading through on the screen. I've optimized it for quality this time rather than speed. Uh, let's have a look. If I change it to if I change it to speed, then we'll lose a lot of quality. but it will probably be a bit quicker let's just see how the uh, speed one goes so what we've done we've launched the old build this is um, the old build from easy as one two three the September build the new October builds come out so I'm going to show you how to install that um, but I just wanted to show you that this builds you know installed on Kodi now what you need to do before you install the new build is you need to delete the old build. So to do that, hit your home button if you're already in Kodi. And if you're not, then we want to go down to settings. And then across to applications. And then down to manage installed apps. And then find Kodi in your list. Hit enter. And then you click clear data. So at the minute, if you can see here, the data is 505 with the application as being 129 meg. Um, we're going to clear all that data. That'll go to zero and that'll just leave 129 meg for the program application. So that's the plan. I'll hit enter on clear data and it wants me to confirm. So hit enter again to clear data. And that's that's the data cleared. It takes about 20 seconds. To be sure that it's done it, press your back button once. And it, there you go. It's, it has it. It's actually done it already. You can see there data zero. So we'll just go back into it. And. That's it, your data's clear. If you don't clear the data, then you're going to end up with a massive, massive build and you're going to run out of space on your box. Um, and apart from that, sometimes if you don't clear the data, they don't load across properly or you'll you'll get um, kind of conflictions between different programs. So you always need to clear data when you're um, loading a new build on. And it, that's how you do it takes two seconds um, what you don't want to do and this goes for particularly for the fire um, because they're so hard to um, set up again but really any device if you go and if you reset to factory defaults you're gonna lose everything that's you're gonna lose Kodi you're gonna lose all your settings you're gonna have to log back in if um, if it is a fire, then you're going to have to sideload the, the APKs again. It's it's an absolute nightmare. So don't reset to factory defaults. It's It'll just do your head in and cost you money. Or certainly a lot of time. Um, right, anyway, let's um, launch Cody and put the new build on. going to change this back to um, optimized for quality. You can see the difference straight away. Oh, 
Okay, so to put the new build on from a fresh install of Kodi, which is what this is with the blue screens. Move across to system. And then down to file manager and hit enter on file manager and then go down to add source and hit enter and then hit your enter button because you're currently highlighted on none so hit your enter button there type in the new URL Okay, and then hit done. Just going to change the name to Easy As. You don't have to change the name, you can leave it as it is, but um, I'm just changing the name. Okay. Now hit your home button and then we'll go back into system and then we want to go down to add-ons this message always comes up after you've um, reset Cody back to um, fresh but a fresh start so just click the OK and then we're installing from zip file and we're going to put in we're going to find the one we just added which is this one easy as and it's plugin video October 16.zip and there we go we've just installed the the um, wizard plugin and in a few seconds that will be waiting for us in the programs menu so we can just hit the home button now and move across to the programs menu now we're watching for the plugin to appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen there it is easy as build wizard so as soon as that comes up you know that it's ready to go go into programs and then program add-ons and then easy as build wizard October 16 just hit enter there and then last one just go down here 123 October 16 hit enter and the build will start to download now this um, easy as build is again about half a gig 500 meg um, so it doesn't take too long to download in fact um, should be done in about two and a half minutes on a um, fairly standard 20 meg connect internet connection so we'll just wait with it There's two stages to the build download. The first one is this box that you're seeing now, which is the download itself. So it goes from 0 to 100% once for the download. When it gets to 100% on this first box, it'll go back to 0 again and it'll come up with a little message saying extract and zip, uh, please waste and it'll go from 0 to 100% again for the second time so the first box is the download the second box is the install
So it's a bit quicker on the uh, on the install. Okay, when it gets to 100%, we're going to get a little message box come up. Now it's going to tell us that um, the build's been downloaded and we need to either force close or unplug the box. There we go. To ensure all changes are saved, you must now close Cody, pull the power cable, or force stop. So you've got the choice. You can either pull the power cable or force stop. We're going to force stop. So hit your home button you don't you don't need to click OK or anything you just go uh, we just want to force stop it straight away so we'll go all the way down to settings across to applications And then all the way down to manage installed applications and hit enter. Then down to Cody. It's all in alphabetical order, so it's fairly easy to find. Hit enter. And you can actually see if you look at the data here. The um, data on this build is actually less than the data on the previous build there's a, but there's actually more add-ons on this build it's just been cleaned up a little bit but we've um, lost some of the um, language support I think but I mean since this is a, a build that's mainly for UK um, users and US maybe um, then um, not having you know some of the languages in there sh shouldn't matter too much to most people so anyway, go down to where it says force stop and hit enter. And there you go, you can see it flash, I'll just do it again so you can see it, there you go. So you know that that's definitely been force stop. So now all we've got to do is click on launch application and it's all done. So that's it, that's the new build on there. If you're using a normal Android box, it's virtually the same system, the same way of doing things. You just go into your settings menu, into your uh, applications, find Kodi on your list, and then click on clear data that way. But um, that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.